the ones that don't have the solar the tile embedded the on them. Yeah. So let's let's look at that uh, as part of the roof. But if you again look at your cost, because I know at the end of the day it's a cost that matters. Yeah, and I was going to say that if I, if I put it on top of my current tiles, then yes. that means I'm double. I'm paying double. I've yeah. already roofed, then I have to roof again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, well, sure. that yeah. what you're seeing on screen is uh, because it's an existing school. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it was easier to just roof to place the tiles on, on top, top of, of the it. existing roof yeah. than reaping it up. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Okay. So, but, which, but, which, yeah. which would be the, the the perfect scenario for a house that already has tiles? Mm -hmm. we rip off the, the the tiles and and you know make sure that the, the surface is even and it looks uh, something uh, right. presentable. Presentable. Okay. Yeah, sure. But for somebody who's going into construction now, is it possible to have the two where you have uh, the solar uh, tiles and mm -hmm. you have now the other tiles? For instance, maybe because of just beauty, is it possible to merge the two? We, I will say, yes, we have uh, had talks with um, some suppliers and manufacturers of roofing tiles. Those are still ongoing. Okay. I think I will leave mm. that at that. So <laughs> currently, for now, especially for aesthetics, it would either be to get the blanks or yes. just do the whole roof with this. That's yes, right. yes. Okay. Yes, yes. Um, all which, right. Which of course, we advise. Do the whole roof with this. <laughs> of course, you'd advise. For, for, consistency. for consistency and also to be able to, you know, this is a money tile, beyond yes. the steamer tile. That's it's a money right. tile. Okay, uh, there's somebody here who's asking about the cost, and mm -hmm. I knew we were going to come to that, but uh, yeah, of course, that would be something a matter of concern. Yeah. You talked about saving about 30%. Mm -hmm. uh, if you had to, was it 30% on roofing material only, mm -hmm. the saving, or is it 30% if you were to roof and buy panels? Well, let me answer that. Okay. It's actually to roof and buy panels. What we've done, the comparison we've done is between. Uh, conventional roofing tiles and solar panels mm -hmm. versus the Strauss steamer tiles. Mm -hmm. um, and this is panels to generate the same amount of power that uh, the Strauss steamer tiles will be able to generate for whatever portion of mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. roof that you use. Mm -hmm. It actually affords you 30% oh, savings. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Um, let's go to the distribution and supply. Mm -hmm. If somebody needed this in the rural areas, we have a tendency to have everything within you know, urban areas and specifically Nairobi. Yeah. Are these available um, throughout the country? Yes and uh, no. Yes, because we... <laughs> <laughs> Let me answer. It's yes still in progress. <laughs> yes, yes and no, because so we... So far in Nairobi. So far, we, we're operating from Nairobi. Yeah. We, we're trying to build a distributor channels and mm -hmm. are looking at how to partner with distributors. We, if you look at the market right now, every product that comes through goes through the, the long distributor channel. And, and we're looking at how do we cut, cut the you know, cut the launches and, mm -hmm. and make it a relationship where it's trust dealing directly with the consumer mm -hmm. where it needs be because where, where there's need because we're looking at how do we make sure that we are tracking these these tiles we're picking the voices from the consumer as they come and we are making sure that we are listening to what the consumer is saying is the consumer saying that the tile is is is, is performing not as expected mm -hmm. and what needs to be done so we're trying to establish how can we uh, create a relationship with the consumer such that uh, uh, the long distribution channel where it goes through a distributor, then goes to a second retailer, then a third retailer, then the consumer. How do we re reduce that? And of course, that means that the margin goes up and the cost of the tile goes up. So how do you reduce that in uh, instances where the cost of the tile is, is high for the consumer? And how do we improve the relationship uh, with the consumer, even though we have that whole channel? So right now, that is why I say yes and no, no because uh, we don't have the exact uh, channel dis uh, mm -hmm. you know, put in place, but you can get in touch with us, mm -hmm. our website, uh, on, on social media, and, and also on shows like this where you can okay. contact. Lifespan, because that would be another issue that somebody mm -hmm. would wonder, because once you tile, really the roof is something that you never want to come back and redo. Sure. How long do they last and what guarantees do, does one have? Sure. Both, first of all, on the roofing material, yeah. as a roof, because mm -hmm. you're, you're doing two in one. Yes. You're using it as a roof. Yes. So you're yes. not expecting leaks. You're not Absolutely expecting, not. so uh, in terms of lifespan, just for the roofing. Okay, uh, with our roofing tile, we give you a warranty of 25 years on the mm -hmm. electrical mm -hmm. component, mm -hmm. which is typical of solar. Uh, 25 years? 25 years. Okay. Our substrate, that's the body, the housing of the tile, is up to 50 years. Yes. It's a mix of ceramic and uh, plastic. It's mm -hmm. not clay, as mm -hmm. most people would think. Mm -hmm. It's a mix of ceramic and plastic, so it's gone through... The tests, test. yeah. several tests that would allow it to 
um, last you up to 50 years. You and your children and their children will probably still mm, see. Mm, mm. Um, the, 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 tile, the tile lasts that's that. right. But now on the electrical component, mm. what happens if, say, a section of, uh, of it doesn't work? Do you Excellent now have to question. Re Thank you. Um, that's a <laughs> good question, and I was wondering when that will come up. <laughs> so I can talk about our smart grid. <laughs> we, have, um, we are working on something called a smart grid. Mm -hmm. Uh, what we mean by a smart grid is that every tile will have an indicator in mm. it. We'll have a chip, we'll probably use, we'll use a GSM technology or whatever technology we use. We're in mm, talks mm, with um, mm. um, network people. So every single tile mm. will have an indicator, will have a chip on it that um, tells us in our office or in our technical office uh, where we have a dashboard to indicate that this There's a the tile place. that's faulty somewhere. Mm -hmm. No tile A2462. So this would be showing you or the owner? That yes. would be showing us. Yes. We yeah. will know that there's a problem with your roof before you know it. Wow. This yes. is where the relationship comes in. That's we, right. we say we don't want to sell you the tile, then and leave you it, to run, right. you know, run yeah. with it. We're saying we're selling we you the tile it. and we're making sure that the tile is is, is, is actually functioning and yeah. functioning optimally. Mm -hmm. So we have, we have it embedded on it and uh, if we have a thousand of them until yeah. 928 is not functioning. Mm -hmm. we'll, come, we'll come to your place and check out tile 928 and remove it and replace it. So that's what we're looking at and we're looking at how will this relationship benefit yeah. the consumer in terms of you bought the tile and you need to, it to function, how will it benefit you? Be so that's another purchase. whole level of customer service yes, where yes. you're actually the ones keeping track of yes. uh, the tiles as opposed mm. to somebody you know, waiting for it to break down mm. then call you when it's mm. broken down. Sure. Right. And is that already in place, the technology? It's uh, not in place, mm. but uh, as we speak, we have it's, a meeting with that. Later, okay. Right? All right. <laughs> so that, that, that should be done. Now, you've talked about 25 years for the electrical yes. component mm. and 50 for the tile. Mm. Has it stood the test of time? Has this been tested over time? Because this, to me, looks like new technology. Mm -hmm. And of course, uh, there's always what I'd call the litmus test right. of literally putting it on the roof and right. letting it stay there, mm -hmm. uh, given different kinds of environments, the right. different weathers, different mm -hmm. uh, energies and uh, temperatures. Has mm -hmm. it stood that test of time? Well, um, our tile, let me start by saying we've been in business for just, I mean, company has been in business for just a little over two years now. Mm -hmm. So definitely we've not reached 50 years, as we're saying. <laughs> yes. It would be very strange. <laughs> <laughs> However, that said, we have carried out our lab tests. Mm -hmm. And um, as much as people may say lab tests are not sufficient, mm -hmm. um, we're a team of techies. We, yeah. we have a team of... Um, enterprising engineers and architects and construction people. So we're people who are very techy and we've looked at material science. Mm. So we've gone with um, a material whose <coughs> properties are tested mm -hmm. and proven mm -hmm. and made in a lab, uh, I mm. mean, even in a factory mm. where we are sure that it will stand the test of time sure. as per its properties. So, well, to answer your question, We've not done 50 years, no. for sure. Mm. That's for sure. However, uh, using our lab tests, we've done structural um, tests on it. Mm -hmm. A man and his tools can stand on this tile. Mm. A man and his tools. Confidently. Yes. yes. Stepping without it. The black. Yes, that's yes, right. Yes, without, yes. It uh, without it breaking. The solar cells are very sensitive. However, they are embedded on um, tempered glass, mm. which is toughened as well. Okay. Mm. So up to a man and his tools, I would give... 80 kilos or 90 kilos mm -hmm. would be confidently be able to walk on the tiles without That's damaging right. without them. what about uh, natural common components like dust sometimes you mm -hmm. have dust cover mm -hmm. and nobody That's goes up there to clean mm -hmm. we know that naturally maybe when it rains hopefully yeah. some of it mm -hmm. is washed off mm -hmm. but would that over time uh, mm -hmm. cover the solar panel to a point where one would not be, be, be able to realize the full potential of the tile mm -hmm. well we've, we've done the tests we've checked out uh, the different components as uh, charity rightfully puts it mm -hmm. uh, I think uh, the aspect of dust and, and wind and, and all that that might come mm -hmm. upon the tile and the roof uh, it does not arise because at the end of the day we're just looking at, at the lighting uh, the solar component will not be affected by the dusting mm -hmm. that's, that's what the lab indicates and, and we're sure that this is good Okay. And this is great for the market. All right. There's but, a question. But, but mm -hmm. still, to uh, I mean, add on to that, uh, we're also looking at, we're very proactive. We're looking at, we're thinking how ahead. Thinking ahead. Yes, how we're thinking we? ahead. How, yes. how do we well, help? Well, for you to stay afloat, you need <laughs> to think <laughs> ahead. Yeah. Yeah. So we're looking at a technology as well that uh, is self-cleansing. Mm. In the event that um, 
there is a whole layer of dust mm -hmm. on top of the tile that mm -hmm. inhibits it from um, operating optimally. Mm. So we're looking at a self-cleansing mechanism. mechanism yeah. So you have a switch in your house. Mm. I mean, how we connect them, there's uh, pipes running under, mm. and there's a switch in your house, you just put it on and it sprinkles, it sprinkles water and, all and, over. And it's okay. Or something else that just turns the dust into little balls and mm. they roll off. They roll so off. Mm. There's, okay. there's lots of R&D ongoing. The, yeah. the other thing then would be, we know the traditional way that we have always done our roofing. Mm -hmm. Do you need to change your style of roofing for this? And that, by that I mean, mm -hmm. there is what lies behind, be, below the roof. You've got mm -hmm. the, you know, the wooden planks that are there that mm -hmm. hold the roof. Would this require a different way of doing it? The only difference would be the spacing, mm -hmm. but it's the exactly buttons the are the same. Mm -hmm. The mm -hmm. roof structure remains the same, mm -hmm. only that the spacing is different because our tile size is different from conventional mm -hmm. roofing tiles. Mm -hmm. Well, it, it's not that different, but it's probably maybe just half the size of a typical sheet. Mm -hmm. um, so the spacing of the buttons where you fix them, and this is where you fix this, oh, yeah. this fixing holes. holes right. mm -hmm. um, so the spacing of the buttons would have to be different. Maybe um, instead of a meter or 1200 mm -hmm. uh, millimeters it comes down to 500 okay yeah. there's the workman sh uh, workmanship side of it mm -hmm. and that is to say that being new technology yeah, yeah. you j just can't walk and find somebody who may be able to fit that mm -hmm. what does one do now if you decide to go with you and uh, you know maybe you don't have a um, um, the guy who did your roofing last time cannot mm -hmm. do this because of the spacing and the technology side of it you've got okay. wires and stuff at the back yes yeah, so well, uh, at at Charles, we, we have a team that will fix this. Uh, yeah. Also, uh, in the process of developing this, we looked at how do we come up with a product that can be fixed in the market so that you don't come up with a product that it's only you that needs fixing. Only, yeah. Mm. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's general, it's, it's, it's normal, it's, it's standardized, to, mm -hmm. it's easy to fix. Um, the whole aspect is just on the measurements and, and making sure that the planks or, or the tiles lie on each other so that mm -hmm. we are fixed this with the next tile. So when, when you have two tiles, there's a pattern of tiles, you know, lying over each other. Mm -hmm. And then the, 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 the perforations here, you put the, the screws, the nuts, and you tighten them on the, mm -hmm. on whatever you have put down here. Okay. So I think we look at the standard. But there's also a regulation by yeah. ERC mm -hmm. for any solar installation, you have to have a solar certified, certified. Um, technician mm -hmm. to carry out the work. So, and that we have in-house as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. All right. To the questions that are coming through this, Kemi, who's asking, mm -hmm. uh, thanks for the innovation. You said uh, that just light it's light that powers the panel. Does moonlight generate power? Hmm. <laughs> interesting. <That's an> interesting <laughs> question. <laughs> you know, um, there's a country that's generating power in the night. I forget which one. It was in the news the other day. Um, mm. But that's something we will look at. We need to look at that. Yes, okay, uh, sure. food for thought, because then again, yeah, sure. if, if we're talking about <laughs> nighttime being a challenge, yeah. Yeah. so if moonlight is able to do that, then on a clear night, Probably one might intensity. still enjoy uh, mm. using the tiles. All right, there's a question here from uh, Kafana, and he says, what's the payback period for the tiles? Is it three, five, ten years? It's five years. Five years. Five years. Yes. Okay, so you're looking at five years. Uh, there's still the issue of cost coming in. How mm. much does it cost per tile? Well, they <laughs> different uh, sizes of tiles. Mm. Uh, as I say, this is an 8-watt tile. We have a 24, 35, 50, and 150. The prices, plus the blank ones. Uh, the prices range from 700 shillings mm -hmm. up to 15,000 shillings. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Finally, as we wind up, uh, possibly maybe where somebody can get a hold of you um, mm -hmm. if they needed to explore that further. Mm. Um, we are everywhere. Well, we are based at uh, the Kenya Climate Innovation Center mm. at uh, Strathmore Business School on the third floor. Uh, we are also on Facebook at Stra well, Strauss Energy. We are on Twitter mm. at Strauss Energy. And you could write us an email info at straussenergy.com. Thank you very much, Charity Wanjiku and Ken Miheso for mm. that uh, wonderful innovation and I'm sure that's something that many Kenyans would be interested in, especially given that sometimes Kenya power and lighting can uh, have challenges right. in supplying power. And I know I speak that from experience. Those in the current <laughs> area, for the last uh, maybe one and a half weeks, it's wow. been a bit of a nightmare. But anyway, there you go. That's uh, where we're going to wrap up Morning Express this morning. Thank you for joining us. Do stay with us on KTN News at exactly nine o'clock we've got news truck coming up so don't go away